Okay, so we're back with the rest of the DVDs. Okay, firstly we're going to go through the uh, non-movie DVDs. We have uh, an American Hardcore Documentary. It's a great uh, doco on um, the hardcore scene in America from 80 to 86. And uh, I saw this at the theatre, but this one comes with audio commentary with the filmmakers, deleted scenes, bonus music performances, and a photo gallery. Um, it's uh, the deleted scenes are like about an hour long, so you get quite a lot out of this. One of my favorite all-time bands, Bad Brains, live at the CBGB in 1982. Uh, some really great footage, uh, considering how old it is. We have uh, Crow Mags, Live in the Age of Quarrel, 86 to 2001. Um, pretty budget stuff, but you know there's some interesting uh, moments in here. Now Danzig, uh, one of my all-time favorite bands, also they. Um, they put out two VHS's for their first and uh, second album. I have the first one, the second one went out of print very quickly. They have yet to be released on DVD, there might be some rights issues. Um, but um, they have released these from their subsequent releases on DVD. And uh, they're okay, but I really want the ones from those, uh, from those first two. We have uh, Earth Crisis, uh, Forever True, 1991 to 2001 um, documentary. It's pretty good. This is like a compilation of uh, video ideas and footage, live footage. Uh, integrity. Documentary about Joy Division. It's really interesting. This is a really fun documentary about the band Sheer Terror. And this is a hilarious Tenacious D, The Complete Masterworks. Here we have a documentary about Bret Hart. And we have some UFC uh, Ultimate Knockouts, or 1, 2, and 3. Just picked those up real cheap, second hand. Um, and I actually attended this event, so I have the uh, DVD to remember it by. Okay, now we're starting with the film DVDs. Uh, we have uh, my favorite Terry Gilliam film, 12 Monkeys. I'm uh, probably not going to upgrade this on Blu-ray. I'm not a huge Terry Gilliam fan, but I do like this film. But and the and the Blu-ray is a bit of an upgrade. But I just I watched this on DVD recently, and I was fine with it. We have 24 Hour Party People. It's a story of Factory um, Records. The first half is kind of about their dealings with Joy Division, and the second half more of the dealings with Happy Mondays. It's really done in interesting style. Michael Winterbottom film. Um, Highly recommend. The way it was shot, I'm not really too interested in a, a Blu-ray upgrade. It's kind of, uh, well, you have to see it to understand, but it's like an old British documentary style that they've done it in, and it's, I don't think uh, it really needs a high definition upgrade for its styling. 25th Hour, one of Spike Lee's best films, probably his best behind Malcolm X. 2046. I can't wait for this to come on Blu-ray. It's sort of part of the trilogy of Wong Kar Wai films. Um, this is the third one. I have In, in the Mood for Love on Blu-ray, which is the second one. Um, this sort of carries on with some of the characters from that. And it is just stunning. It's even stunning on DVD. On Blu-ray, I imagine it's just going to uh, rip my mind open. We have uh, 48 Hours and another 48 Hours. 48 Hours is awesome. Another 48 is, is okay. It's just kind of like a retread, um, but uh, Eddie Murphy and Nick Nolte together in 48 hours, it's great stuff. Okay, now we're on to letter A. Adaptation, really enjoy this. Uh, one of the few Nick Cage performances I love. Um, recommended. After Hours, one of Scorsese's finest films. Um, in the top five Scorsese's for sure, and in my top uh, 30 films of all time. If this comes out on Blu-ray, I'll be, uh, and they do a good job, I'll be upgrading for sure. My favourite Herzog film, Agira, The Wrath of God. Um, it's like uh, Apocalypse Now before Apocalypse Now. American Graffiti and more American Graffiti. Um, I've been tempted to upgrade American Graffiti, um, but I think I'll just stick with this one. It comes with more American Graffiti um, with it, and I don't really want to... Um, buy the American Graffiti, the more American Graffiti Blu-ray either, just by itself. So I'll just stick with the double bill. Anchorman also includes the uh, the film made up of the deleted scenes. 
called uh, Anchorman Wake Up Rum Burgundy, which is hilarious. This is the Super Deluxe Special Edition, has so much content, it's not funny. The Blu-ray, I think, has all of the same content, but it's just a comedy, so I'm not too fussed on uh, going high def. I'm pretty happy with just that. As mentioned in one of the earlier um, releases, I have kept the uh, the Director's Cut of Army of Darkness on DVD because the uh, standard definition version of that that came with the Blu-ray of the um, theatrical edition is just the worst transfer and this looks really good. Um, and so until they release a proper high definition transfer of uh, the Director's Cut of Army of Darkness, um, I'll just be holding on to this. Uh, so the official bootleg edition and uh, the, also the director's cut is the only version of the film that has the audio commentary so it has the uh, audio commentary with uh, Sam Raimi, Bruce Campbell and Sam, um, Sam's brother Ivan who played parts in the film and also uh, co-wrote it with Sam and um, some deleted scenes that didn't make either cut Assassination of Jesse James it's a stunning film You'd think I'd want to upgrade this on Blu-ray, but the reports on the Blu-ray is that it has really, really intense edge enhancement. So I'll stick with the DVD. It looks really nice as it is. Um, and it's also not a film that I, even though I love it, it's not a, probably one of my films that I would watch less than some other ones I own because it's, you know, it's quite a task to sit down and, and get into this film uh, on a regular basis. But it is, uh, you know, it's well worth it when you do. I don't care what anyone thinks. The Beach is awesome, and it's Danny Boyle's best film. This comes out on Blu-ray at the end of the year, so I'm probably going to upgrade. I did a video about my Beverly Hills Cop uh, Blu-ray set uh, this week, uh, which will be replacing this when I sell it. Well, it already has replaced it, but I'm going to be selling this as the uh, Beverly Hills Cop um, DVD trilogy. Broken Flowers, Bill Murray's awesome here, it's a real fun film, uh, Jim Jamush directs. Kevin Smith's best film, Chasing Amy, packed with special features as, as uh, most uh, Kevin Smith films are. Um, he really showed promise with this and I don't know what happened since. The uh, first film from the director of The Assassination of Jesse James by the cow Robert Ford, based on true events. Uh, and Eric Barner plays the lead, he put on a lot of weight for this role and he's amazing in it. Um, I would recommend anyone who hasn't seen this to check it out. Kevin Smith's first film, still funny, still a good time to watch. Coming to America, um, I've upgraded all of the Eddie Murphy, um, well most all of the Eddie Murphy films I've, I own. Um, out of the ones I do own, this is probably my least favourite. I still like it, but this is about as, you know, the, the least good one that I would bother owning. And um, it's still funny, it's just a bit patchier than the other ones. And um, so I'm quite happy just sticking with this DVD. Now, Commando is available on Blu ray, but it is not the director's cut. This is the only release of the director's cut. It has the extra gore. <coughs> so, um, yeah, this is the one to hold on to until they release this on Blu ray. I'm quite happy holding on to this, and it has a cool cover. Walter Hill's Crossroads. It's a Karate Kid meets a uh, Blues Tournament. Uh, yeah, this is a really good film. doesn't come with any special features or anything, but I've always loved this movie. The Trilogy of the Dead, Night of the Dead. It's Night of the Living Dead, Dawn of the Dead and Day of the Dead. Just a little set. Um, has some good special features. Transfers are okay. Um, I think I'll just hold on to this. I'm not going to bother upgrading. And the Dawn of the Dead remake, one of the few good remakes. Diary of the Dead, criminally underrated, much better than Land of the Dead, and, you know, survival, it's not even mentioned Survival of the Dead. Those two films don't make it in my collection, but Diary of the Dead does. Here's the first part in the Wong Kar Wai trilogy I was talking about just before. Um, this is Days of Being Wild. Uh, if this comes out with a good Blu-ray release, I'll probably pick it up. I have In, in the Mood for Love on the Criterion Blu-ray, and I'm waiting on 2046 to be released on Blu-ray. Um, I'd like to have all three in the high def. Um, but here it is. Here's the special collector's edition of uh, Cronenberg's Stephen King adaptation, The Dead Zone. It's a, um, it's a really good film. The transfer on this is not great, um, but you know it gets the job done. It has some good special features. 
Now recently I sold my Die Hard Trilogy box set, um, but I kept this, and you may wonder why, it seems odd, yes, it does seem odd, but uh, this is the uh, uncut version of Die Hard 4, and is the only release it's had, it's on Blu-ray, it's the cut version, um, that aired in America, and uh, this is the R-rated version, well here it's an M, uh, like they're all M-rated here, not, but overseas uh, they're R-rated, so um, yeah, Die Hard 4. I've sold the trilogy uh, because I'm going to get them all on high def, um, and I know that the first Die Hard film has re been done uh, with a new 4K scan, it's going to be playing in the theatres this year, and will probably be released, um, a, a, a new release of that on Blu-ray, so I've sold uh, my Die Hards in anticipation of that, and held on to this, uh, just in case they do not release the Blu-ray and the uh, uncut version. Bram Stoker's Dracula. This is a really nice DVD transfer, and um, I had the high def transfer has had the, the colours altered quite considerably from the theatrical uh, release, and uh, a lot of people complained about it, so I've never bothered the transfer. Escape from New York, John Carpenter, kind of suits the gritty standard definition. <laughs> you might have seen I had the Evil Dead films on Blu ray, but I kept this one here. Uh, just the ultimate edition because it has a lot more content than the DVD, uh, than the Blu-ray, and it has a poster and it's a, it's a pretty glorious set. So I'm quite happily holding on to this. Also, it has the um, full-frame version, which uh, you know some people argue between the full-frame and widescreen version for this particular film. Uh, the Blu-ray only has the widescreen. Um, this has both, and. Uh, whole another disc of extras. Here is a limited edition tin box of uh, Evil Dead 2 uh, that I've held on to. comes with this big cool booklet. There's another underrated Cronenberg film, Existens. It's really good stuff. My favourite film by Louise Bunuel, The Exterminating Angel. Um, very bizarre film. Um, I'd recommend checking out it's about a, a group of uh, bourgeois rich people who go to a dinner party and for, they just physically cannot leave this house um, and they end up having been sort of uh, trapped in there by forces unseen um, for a long period of time descending into madness. Fallen Angels, um, really stunning film uh, from Wong Kar Wai. This was shot um, was originally supposed to be a, a third story in the Chungking Express that you've seen. I have the DVD of in my Criterion collection, um, but this ended up being its own film, expanded into its own film, and Chungking was just left with the two stories. Um, really beautiful cinematography, great colours, but uh, some of the characters are kind of annoying, which makes its rewatch uh, ability a little more strange than some of the others. Fanboys. Now, this is a fun movie. Um, I don't think it gets the credit it deserves. It's a really beautiful homage to Star Wars and um, has some really good, funny special features. So, I uh, highly recommend it. Ferris Bueller's Day Off, Solid John Hughes, and another Cronenberg film, The Fly. Actually, I only really like three Cronenberg films, and you've seen them all on this shelf. Um, Cronenberg's remake of The Fly is my favourite from his, though. Um, the Blu-ray of this looks pr almost identical to the DVD. They didn't do a good job of it at all. Um, but yeah, it's a two-disc edition. has a lot of good special features. So that's it for Shelf 11. Uh, we have one more shelf to go, and then we'll be all done.